say Sum Namo Bhagavate Rudraya. The Bhagavan word indicates six attributes. Why you call someone Bhagavan or this consciousness, the principle as Bhagavan? Because it has lordship over everything. Aishwaryasya, Samagrasya. An individual have lordship in some places only. But the universal consciousness has lordship over everything in the universe. One can be a prime minister of that country, but you go to another country, he has no lordship over there. A president of a country has all the power in that country alone. An artist who has excelled in his or her field has mastery over art. Same with science. Different subjects can be mastered. But is there one who has mastered everything? Yes, that is Rudra. That is Bhagavat. That is Bhagwan, who has mastery over virtually everything that exists. Aishwarya says, Samagrasya, one who has lordship over everything. Virya says, has power, enormous potential. And he has all forms of wealth. Again, wealth, we give a very narrow meaning to wealth. But wealth indicates everything. It's not just intellectual wealth, it is not emotional, it is material, spiritual, you know. All different type of wealth is embedded in that consciousness. Shreyasya is known everywhere, he knows everything. Jnana Vairagya, knowledge and dispassion. The Lord of this universe has infinite love, at the same time infinite dispassion too. Love and dispassion being there together. Knowledge, wisdom and dispassion being there together. is something you can rarely find. And jnana vairagya. When one has these six attributes you call them Bhagavan. What? Dispassion, wisdom, fame. Fame means that it is known and liked and loved by everybody, everyone. Shreya, all type of wealth and then lordship. The consciousness, which is all pervading, which is like the wave function, like the radio waves, which is everywhere. But it has certain attributes to it. Then it becomes a soul. What are they? Icha. There is a desire. Dvesh. Dislikes. Aversions. Sukha. Happiness. Every soul experiences happiness. Dukkha. Unhappiness. Sanghata. Meeting. Uniting. Merging. Chetana. It is conscious. And Dhriti. Dhriti cannot be translated into English. Dhriti is that force which upholds the consciousness. So these seven aspects together give the name soul or a life force. And it is the same whether for elephant or for an ant. <laughs> Here measurements fail. You can't say uh, elephant has a bigger soul than an ant has a smaller soul. The only difference is it is expressing itself a little more in as it moves from an ant to an elephant to a human being, its expression has blossomed. Say suppose if it is in a bud shape in an ant, it's little blossomed in elephant and it becomes fully blossomed in human being. You can also say like paddy and then rice and then puffed rice. <laughs> but it's the same stuff. <laughs>